Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Ada High School, where tonight the Ada Bulldogs welcome in the Lipsick Vikings in round one of the Ohio High School State Playoffs. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Darren Gilbert and our entire WSN crew. Gilly, these two squads met just a week ago on this field, a 29-26 victory by Ada. Does that make a big difference in this game, Gilly? Well, let me start by saying this. You know, since going to seven divisions, which officially went into play this year, it's got to be a state record because they're playing back-to-back -back right, within right. seven <laughs> days. Uh I'm going to say no, but the, the thing that you're going to get out of it the most is these coaches are going to be able to watch the film and break it down and be a little bit more thorough and detailed. And you're probably going to hear that words a lot tonight being used as details because that's what it's going to come down to. Both teams have very explosive players. Both teams have put a lot of players on the first, second, third team in the BVC. Well-deserved honors. And uh, it's going to be a chess match tonight. Yeah, you take a look at both these squads, and they're led by dynamic quarterbacks. Ada Levi Green, 1,031 rushing yards, 12 touchdowns. And then you look across the line, Mark Kirkendall, the outstanding freshman, and he slings the ball everywhere, 16 touchdowns through the air. Coach's son, and he's only going to get better and better, and he's had a really phenomenal year for a freshman. You know, and you flip the, flip the coin on – Levi Green, and look at the numbers he put up in the BVC. A uh, new team to the BVC, and he walks out of there with a uh, co-offensive player of the year for for his uh, trophy case yeah, and, for his efforts. And I was and I uh, incorrect. I, 1,031 uh, yards through the air, but he had 1,400 oh, on absolutely. the ground. He's a dynamic dual threat quarterback, and he's what makes this Ada machine go. Well, when you think about this, Kane Fisher, the numbers he's put up. He was a third-team running back. So what does that say about the running sure. backs within the Blanchard Valley Conference? Yeah, really, really good. So we are just about underway. The rematch of Ada Lipsick, Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from War Memorial Park here at Ada High School. Love the field turf. I, I was, was going to say, look, before we even start out, let's give a big shout-out to Ken Jokums and this staff over here. They have taken care of – look, there's a lot of good guys in this business. Ken's as good as they come. He's as good as and they come. He, he took – look, they got Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken for us. We, we feasted on that all night. He's oh, just yeah. been a great host, and the people over here treat us fantastic. They do, and that's part of the reason why, Danny, I'm back on the sideline because <laughs> of people like him and, and the community. They rally behind their – coaches and their players and and there you see the kick there uh, just kind of a squiller that goes out of bounds it uh, looks like it came off the tee maybe a little bit but uh, Lipsick it goes out of bounds and let's see what they do here so uh, not a very good start for the Vikings let's see if Ada wants to re-kick it and it appears they do Nope, they've changed their mind. A couple of our presenting sponsors tonight, Dale's Concrete. Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipsick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. And also Buckeye East Coffee Shop in Ada, keeping you warm and caffeinated all winter long. Stop by and try our signature roast. Online ordering available for your convenience. Caffeinated. That's a that's a new word. I haven't mean, heard that one, Gilly. Are you a, are you a caffeine? Are you a coffee oh, guy? No. But, a, but look, I am a Coke Zero fanatic. Well, let's, we could stop by the Buckeye East Coffee Shop. I know those folks. They're good people. Okay. They'll, they'll take care of us. All right, I'll try it. <laughs> Maybe we'll stop over there. You and I will. There you go. So here come the Ada Bulldogs. They are led on the field by Levi Green, 82 of 129 for 1,031 yards and 12 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Green is in the gun. He'll have a man in motion. He'll have three receivers to the left. Green throws out to the left, and that's going to fall incomplete. And a flag on the play. Let's see what they call here. So there was some interference maybe or a hold. We'll have to see what the play does. Um, Ineligible receiver yeah, downfield, I believe it is. Yeah. yeah. I'm not quite sure where Mr. Green was throwing the yeah, ball to. Get, ineligible receiver. You look at Levi Green, Gilly, 148 rushing attempts, 1,417 yards, 16 touchdowns. Gilly, he averages 9.6 yards a carry. He can hurt you in a variety of ways, yeah. especially, you know, we're talking pregame about Will Howard and what he's going to have to do tomorrow against Penn State. <laughs> right, right. You know, Levi Green, when you spread the field like this, you know, Lipsick's going to have to match somebody up with him, and if he gets loose, he's capable of putting a lot of yards on and as well as points. So Green's in the gun. He'll take the snap. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to run right up the middle and get back to the original line of scrimmage, and the Lipsick defensive front will stop him there. So they'll put him back on the original line of scrimmage, and they'll bring up second and ten. And, and you look at the uh, the rest of that backfield, uh, running back Kane Fisher, Gilly, the 5'9", 165-pound senior, he's got 120 carries this year for 890 yards and, and 15. 13. Yeah, and 13. 
Yeah, in, in third team, he's got 15 touchdowns. He knows where the end zone is. He does. So a great matchup here when you look at these two teams. And like I said, last week they played to a three-point game. And you know, Lipsick's looking for revenge, and Ada's looking to prove that they're the better team. So Green's in the gun. He's got three receivers to the left. He's got a single receiver to the right. They'll go second and nine from the 41. And the timeout looks like a timeout on the field. Ada's going to take a timeout. There's a timeout on the field. We'll take our first timeout. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So Ada takes an early timeout, Gilly, with 11.06 here in the first quarter, just trying to make sure everything's working, want to get a good start here in their first drive. Well, and he could be trying to get the kids, you know, lasered back in and focused and because this is an important drive. I know it's only first drive of the game, but it's an important one. And there you see Levi Green as he does his best job there. And it's a Quest Federal Union first down. Quest Federal Credit Union is today's first down sponsor. Five convenient locations to serve you. QuestFCU.com. So there you see it, Gilly. He just scoots and gets right through the line and does a great job of moving the chains for the Bulldogs. Well, if you're secondary, the second level and third level players are making tackles. That's a good sign for the offense. Offenbacher on the stop for the Vikings. So they'll go first and 10 from the 48. Green will go in the gun. He's got a single back to his left, and he goes out to the left. So he'll go empty backfield. He's going to keep it himself. He runs again. He's picking up five. He's picking up another 10, and he picks up 15 yards on the carry. There you see the explosiveness of Levi Green, the senior quarterback, picks up another Quest Federal Credit Union first down. That'll get the band playing, Gilly. That will get the band playing. <laughs> Boy, Gilly, this is my first time getting to see him play, and he is quick. He is quick. He is really quick. I watched quick. him two years ago when it was 52-45 to 45 against Hart Morgan. It was just an absolute track meet for both teams. So he'll go into the gun. He's got Kane Fisher off to his left. He's got two receivers to the right, one single to the left. They'll go Kane Fisher up the middle. There goes Fisher to the, to the 30. He's to the 25, to the 20. Kane Fisher goes to the corner. Kane Fisher tries to get in, and he gets in. Kane Fisher. Oh, they're going to call him out at the goal line? Is that what they're calling? No, they're calling it a touchdown. Okay. I thought they, I, there was no signal, but they're going to go touchdown. Wow, was he explosive. Once he got to the outside, he did get some help from number three, Caleb Hickman, with a nice block on his defender, allowing him to bounce it outside and get down that far sideline, making his way to the end zone. Kane Fisher goes 34 yards untouched. For an Ada Automotive touchdown, Ada Automotive, stop by and see us for all your automotive needs or call 419-634-2816. So the kick is up, and it is good. With 9.51 to go in the first quarter, the Bulldogs strike quick and first. They lead 7-0. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Welcome back to Ada High School. Our school board sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, located in Wapak, Delphi, and St. Mary's. Locally owned and operated, Lee's is not just famous chicken. We're famous for catering, too. Gilly, that's going to be a big problem if Lipsy can't slow that rushing attack well, down. you know what? You know, the timeout was called early by Coach Smith and his staff. They must have saw something defensively, okay, and, and talked to the personnel because they come, they come right out, drew a couple first downs, and they got loose on that long run play there. So, yeah, that – that timeout, if you want to say it was a special one, it was definitely special. And you saw Kane Fisher, Gilly. Oh. He just exploded out of that backfield. And there's a squib kick down the middle, and it hits the turf and rolls, and it's uh, trouble by the Vikings picking it up. They'll bring it across the 25, and that's where they'll be taken down. The Lipsick Vikings will start at the 25-yard line. They are led on the field by Mark Kirkendall, the 5'10", 160-pound freshman. He's 149 of 238 for 16 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, and 2,065 yards. The young man is going to be a fantastic quarterback. He he's really good right now, but as he gets older, learns the position the more, he's going to be a really, really good co This whole Lipsick team is really good, and they're really young. Oh, yeah. Ian House on the stop along with Kane Fisher on that 
So Kirkendall going in the gun. He's got two receivers, or excuse me, two backs to the left. He'll hand off to the first back up and picks up about Lommers. 14 yards, and that is number 13, Ty Lommers, a 6'3", 168-pound senior. Ty Lommers on the year, Gilly. They, they split him out a lot. He's got 38 receptions for 633 yards and six touchdowns. He's an athletic kid. They'll oh, use him in a lot of different formations. Athletic, yeah, Danny. He, him and Breck both played AAU with Coach McCullough and myself. And I'm telling you what, they are athletic. And what I mean by that is they not only can run, they can go side to side, and they're really, really explosive off the uh, turf. There's Kirkendall's first pass, and it's out there, and it's a strike, and it's Jace Breck. We talked about Jace Breck just a few minutes ago. He's got 58 receptions this year, Gilly, for 840 yards and nine touchdowns. He's their go-to guy in the air. He's their go-to guy, and then you, know, you, you put in the mix, Mr. Lommers. And that's another Quest Federal Credit Union first down for the Vikings, so... Both offenses. Boy, Gilly, this has got the feeling of a shootout. <laughs> you and I you, you and does. I get these games where there's just and back and okay. forth. Yeah, absolutely. Levi Green was on the stop for the tackle right there for the Bulldogs. So Kirkendall's in the gun. He's going to hand off to the first man up and goes That's across Lommers. the middle. That's Lommers. Picks up about three yards. So Ty Lommers with the carry. That'll bring up second and about six. Trying to see who's on the stop. Trevor McGew. Yep. Our red zone sponsor tonight is Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora, paying top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. Call 419-384-3392. So here goes Kirkendall in the gun. He's going to throw. He looks across. He's got a man out there on the left, and he's got him. And the reception's made. He'll go to the 50, to the 45, to the 40, and he'll be taken out of bounds at about the 35-yard line and a strike made to Jace Brecht. And there you see the explosiveness wow. of the Vikings. Boy, did he throw that ball on a dime. Yelly, he's really poised for a freshman. He, he, sure looks, he looks like he's been there a long time, and he's just a young kid. He's a young kid. It's like we talked about. It's going to get bigger, stronger, and faster. So the bulldog, pre or the, excuse me, the bulldog defense on their heels a little bit, as the Lipsic Viking offense trying to even this up. The Ada leads seven nothing with seven fifty six to go here in the first quarter. Kirkendall's in the gun. He's got two backs. One will split out left. He'll go one to the right. Two receivers to the right. He'll hand off. They'll go left side. They'll go up to about the thirty eight yard line. Excuse me. That's number twenty eight on the carry. That's Colin Nice. Vieira and Zimmerman on the stop for the Bulldogs. A lot, lot of mix-up here, Gilly. They'll run, they'll pass. They, uh, you know, nice, a nice offensive call right now against this Bulldog defense. They've got them on their heels a little bit. Yeah, they're, they're not afraid yeah. to spread the, spread the yeah. field either, are they? Yeah, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Lipsick comes in averaging 24 points a game. Defensively, they give up 18. Kirkendall's in the gun. He's got Nice off to the left side. They'll hand to Nice up the middle. And he is met, hit immediately by that Bulldog defensive front line. Big time hit I think there. That was Mr. Amos. I think it was. Mr. Amos was a first team all conference on both sides of the ball. Think about that one. That's pretty yeah, that's pretty that's pretty impressive. Heck of an award. Absolutely. That'll bring up third and one. So a big third down here for the Lipsig Vikings as they trail seven to nothing with six forty seven to go here in the first quarter. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from War Memorial Park. Home of the Ada Bulldogs, round one of the state football playoffs. They'll go again right up the middle. And Gilly, I don't know that he got I it. Boy, that's gonna did. be it's really gonna be close. close. And the mark where they come in looks like he's going to be just short. Maybe Lommers was the ball carrier, but my goodness, that aided defensive front really stiffened up there. Zimmerman in on the stop along with Magoo. And they're calling it fourth down. You got you to gotta believe they're going to go for it. Boy, I'll tell you what. That they aided, stood him up in the hole, They sure didn't did. They met him right in the hole. Nice job by that Bulldog front line. And Lipsick's going to go for it here, fourth and one on the 29, just under six minutes here in the first quarter. Well, how big would it be if the dogs could get a stop here? Well, the, the, you, you want to talk about getting the home crowd on their feet. They get a stop here. Kirkendall's going to go in the gun. He's going to hand off, and they'll easily get oh, it boy. as he breaks through containment. Oh, nice and a nice tackle. run there by Ty Lommers as he gets another Quest Federal Credit Union first down. And there you saw the Lipsick offensive line. They won the battle in that one. 
You know, Hickman right there probably saved the touchdown. He's, he's the last resort to third level. He stepped up, made the tackle. Mr. Lommers was on his way to the end zone. Lipsticks in the Northwest Ohio Recycling Red Zone. Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora paying top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. Call 419-384-3392. Kirkendall's in the gun. He's got a single back to his right. They'll hand off. He'll go off the left side. And a nice pickup there. And he's carrying people. That's number 28, Colin Neese. So Colin Neese picks up about six yards, getting a nice run. Amos on the stop for the Bulldogs, but like you said, got six on that first down. Make it second and four from the 11, 4.52 to go here. Lipsick on a, on a nice drive that they've drove the entire length of the field here. Kirkendall going the gun. He's got Lommers directly behind him. He's got a single receiver to the right in single coverage. Kirkendall takes the snap. He's going to go Lommers right up the middle. Lommers finds a hole. And oh, nice play by Hickman right there. It's going to be close to another Quest Federal Credit Union first down. And they are calling it first and goal, Gilly. So the Lipsick Vikings knocking on the doorsteps. They're down seven to nothing, but they driving the ball right down the heart of that Bulldog well, defense. He, he did a really good job getting through the first level. Lommers I'm talking about here. If he'd have bounced it outside, I don't know whether they'd have got him or not. So Lommers is directly behind Kirkendall. Kirkendall takes the snap. He's going to go Colin Neese up the left side. And Colin Neese, uh, maybe a yard, maybe, maybe a yard. Zolads and Zimmerman on the stop. Really, is there any advantage to, for either of these teams that they've seen each other play last week and it was a three-point game? Is there any advantage to either of these? Well, I think the only advantage both teams has is you can you can take that tape and break it down more specific. Sure, sure. You know, and you don't need to look at the other tapes. You can focus on that one game tape and find the weaknesses of each team and try to exploit it. They'll go second and seven from the seven. Kirkendall's in the gun. Colin Neese off to his right side. They'll go Colin Neese again as he finds a hole and he gets a touchdown. An Ada Automotive touchdown. Colin Neese scampers in from seven yards out, and the Lipsig Vikings are down a point with 321 to go. Well, and that's one thing right there. Last week it was Lommers that really hurt Ada on, on the run. Right. This week, Neese is, you know, getting quite a few touches. Who's the one that got to the end zone? Colin Neese, yeah. Neese did. An impressive drive by the Lipsy Vikings, Gilly. And they are going to go for two to try to take the lead here. So uh, Coach Kirkendall says we're, we're going to try to get as many points as we can here. A shootout last weekend. Kirkendall looks across the middle, throws to the end zone. He's got a man out there. Oh, and great he goes play off there by the Vieira. Finger to Vieira with a nice – you you can't defend to play better no. than that, Gilly. Used the inside hand, got it up there, and swatted it away. With 3.21 to go here at Ada War Memorial Park, the Ada Bulldogs lead the Lipsy Vikings 7-6. to six. We'll be back right after these messages. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Call Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping and Lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. And the Buckeye East Coffee Shop in Ada, keeping you warm and caffeinated all winter long. Stop by and try our signature roast. Online ordering available for your convenience. So, Gilly, uh, last week, 29-26, and doesn't look like either team slowed down. <laughs> It does. We're going to have a shootout here, yeah. Gilly. 76 and 321 to go. This is going to be fun, partner. Give them six days of rest and come right back out and play again. <laughs> I'm sure they didn't rest. They probably right. worked exceptionally hard for practice to get ready for this. So Ada fields the kick at about the 15-yard line. They'll bring it up the right side. They'll get to the 30-yard line, and Ada in good field position at about the 33-yard line. Join myself, Miles Holiday, and Nate Garlock each week as we discuss local football matchups, Buckeye football, and sports all across the state of Ohio. It's WSN's newest podcast, The Three Wise Men. No crack from you, Gilly. Oh, no, I was just uh, going to say you better get ready because 
a lot of the college basketball teams are rolling their basketball yeah. next week. Well, we'll be, look, we'll cover all of it, it's brother. Either that or we get to watch the election. <laughs> Here come the Bulldogs, and Green is in the gun. He is in an empty backfield. He's got receivers to the right, and looks like the Stella oh, Lipsick is Lipsick's going to take, take a timeout. Time yeah. So with 3.14 to go, the Lipsick Vikings take a timeout. We'll step aside. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Medsker Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So 314 to go here in the first quarter as both teams take their opening drive and put it in the end zone. Ada leads this one 7-6. Green's in the gun. He's got a man in motion. He's got two receivers to the left, a single receiver to the right. He's going to keep it himself, and there's another flag. So a little bit of nerves here tonight, Gilly, opening up uh, week one of the state Ooh, football playoffs. We got a false start. And that's not going to help the Bulldogs as they'll be pushed back five yards to start this drive first and 15. Yeah, come from the right side apparently. Not sure if it was the tackle or the guard. Somebody flinched. That'll bring up first and 15 from the 27. 313 to go here. And Green's in the gun. He's got a receiver to the right. And they'll flex out three other receivers off to his left. Green looks across. He throws to the left side. He's got a man out there. Reception's made, and not much happening there. Reception is made by Kane Fisher. But boy, he was met by a host of Vikings, Gilly, and uh, maybe a yard, yard and a half. Well, I was trying to see who that appears to be number three on the stop. Is that Mr. Breck? Yeah, Mr. Breck did a really good job shedding that block on the perimeter, making the stop. Coming into this game, Gilly, the Bulldogs have won five of their last six games. They're playing really good football here. Green will take the ball. He's going to keep it himself, and he is going to be taken down as he, oh, my goodness. Number six for the Lipsick Vikings. That is Jackson Cup. Met him in the backfield, Gilly, and takes him down. So uh, a, a drive that had promise that started the 33 has been backed up and two plays of losses right back to back. That's going to bring up third and 16. And this this is exactly what Lipsick won is, is get Ada in a third yeah, and long yeah. situation. Their, their bread and butter is on the ground. Sure is. At number 56 on the stop. Unfortunately, we do not have a number 56 on our roster for Lipsick, but a heck of a play right there by that young man. So Green's got Fisher off to his right side. He's going to throw the ball, and he's got a man out there, and uh, the reception is made. Reception made by Caleb Hickman, but it doesn't go for much of anything, and that's going to bring up fourth and long, and Ada's going to have to go in pump formation. Boy, they were fortunate that ball could have very easily Ooh. been picked off for a touchdown. They did a really good job jumping that route. I actually don't know how Hickman caught it. There was so much congestion and traffic there, but made a heck of a play. But when you look up and there's nothing but white jerseys there, you just have nowhere to go. Bring up fourth and ten. Eight will go back in punt formation. Lipsick will send two back at about the 40, 44 yard line. Kick is up, and it will be field at the about really 30 nice yard line. Fair catch there by number 13, Ty Lommers. Boy, Ty Lommers, they put him in all kinds Everywhere. of positions. If they can touch the ball, he's a threat to go. This is a really young uh, Lipsick team, Gilly. They're going to be really a force to reckon with in the BBC. But, hey, Ada's building something special here, too. Uh, Co Coach Toby Smith done a great job this year. As I said, they've won five of their last six. They had that lid lifter with Upper Side of Alley where they got the one-point victory, and then they lose to Arlington by one. Yes. And then their only other loss last was – the game. Right, right. And their only other loss was Pandora Gilboa, which was kind of a blowout. But nonetheless – Pandora you know, was playing pretty good football absolutely. at the time. So here comes Kirk and Noll and the Vikings. They'll go first and 10 from the 38. Lommers will split out to the left. They'll go first back up, and he's going to pick up about three yards. That is number five, Aaron Hazelton. We haven't called his name tonight. Boy, they'll run those wide receivers in the backfield, Gilly. You notice that. It's, it's, it's running back by committee for the Vikings. It is. Yep. Magoo and Zimmerman on the stop for the Bulldogs. Yeah, he's trying to keep fresh legs in the backfield. 
Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Located in Wapak, Delphi, St. Mary's. Locally owned and operated, Lee's is famous for chicken. Not just famous for chicken. We're famous for catering, too. I'll tell you what, that Lee's Famous Recipe Ooh. was good tonight. We Ooh, took care of that, didn't we? <laughs> we did. Here comes Kirkendall. He's got a single back off to his left. He's going to hand off. This is Nice. Nice tries to get through and gets to about the 45-yard line, Gilly. That's going to set up a third and about a long four. Nice job by Zimmerman stepping up for the tackle. And that is going to do it for the first quarter. So after one quarter of play, the Ada Bulldogs lead the Lipsick Vikings. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Welcome back for the start of the second quarter here at War Memorial Park. Our timeout sponsors are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So here come the Lipsick Vikings as they turn it around here. Kirkendall with the ball. He's going to look across the middle under pressure. He gets hit hard, but he's got a man out there. Boy, Reception he, is made. He took but a pop. Kirkendall got hit, and Leveled. he is still down, Gilly. And it was a legal hit. Yeah, he is still down. They helped him up. But his pass is complete to Jace Brecht, and that's going to be another Quest Federal Credit Union first down. And they're going to shake the cobwebs out of that young man's head because he got hit really oh, hard. He, yeah, just as soon as he got rid of the football, there was contact. But I'll I'm tell not you quite what, sure yeah. who it was. I don't know if it was Landon Simon or if it was Amos. Gilly, the, the ability for him to Ooh. stay in the pocket and to, to deliver oh, that to ball. Take it yeah. And then take a licking. Yeah, that'll bring up first and 10 from the 49 with 11.33 to go. Kirkendall's in the gun. He's got Colin Neese directly behind him. Lommers goes in motion. They're going to hand the ball to Neese. It's a reverse. They'll go. He'll go to the right side. He gets to the 40, oh, to boy. the 35, to the 30. And there you see number three, Jace Breck, with the double, double reverse. reverse. I was going to say double reverse. Yeah, it went from Lommers to <laughs> yeah. Breck. Yeah, so it went from Kirkendall to Lommers to Breck. So it sounds like a double play combination. Hickman saved a touchdown right there for the Bulldogs. He sure did. Man. Jace Breck. Jace Breck put it in second, third, and then fourth gear you when know, he turned the corner. Gilly, I was talking to a guy today uh, on the radio show, and we talked about – you know, this kind of matchup here after seeing somebody one week, and he said, and he was he was really right, he said, you just break out every trick play you have, something they haven't seen, and maybe that's what Lipsick's thinking there. Yeah, yeah, or you, you, you spot something from your spotters up in sure. the press box. So Kirkendall go to the gun. One first and ten from the 27. Kirkendall's going to hand the ball off, and this is Nice, and Nice is driving that pile in a pickup of eight yards. Colin Nice picks up about eight yards. That's going to bring up second in about two. And that'll put the Lipsick Vikings in the Northwest Ohio Recycling Red Zone. Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora, paying top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. Call 419-384-3392. So lads on the stop along with Zimmerman for the Bulldogs and Hickman. Kirkendall's in the gun. He'll hand to Colin Neese. Colin Neese goes off the right side. He's got a hole. He gets to the 10, and he drives it up to about the six-yard line. Colin Neese. Boy, he's running hard, Gilly. He's running hard. And like I said, Andy, I don't know how many carries he had last week, but they're feeding him quite a bit tonight. Pierre with the stop. And, Gilly, this drive started with Ada's inability. They got that penalty down there, remember that, and they got pushed back, and then they had two plays where they lost yardage, so mm -hmm. it really put them in a hole. Yeah, you, you can't play, you know, in a, in a playoff game, especially behind the chains, and that's what's happened with the Bulldogs right now. So Kirkendall go to the gun. He's got Lommers behind him. They'll go Lommers up the middle, and he is met immediately by that Bulldog defensive line. Good job and there by Zimmerman. Is the ball Did, on the ground? Uh, oh, boy. I saw a marker come flying in, and okay. Ada's got the ball. A turnover, Gil. Exactly yeah, Lama's, what the Lama's Bulldogs needed. The, the Ada Bulldogs come up with a big turnover. Yeah, it appeared to be Zimmerman with the initial hit to free the football away from Lommers. I saw the official throw the marker in, and I thought to myself, did the ball get knocked loose? And that's exactly what happened. It got knocked loose in that pile, and the Ada Bulldogs with the first big turnover of the game. Yeah, and I'm not even so sure who picked it, you know, off the ground, but obviously it was a purple and gold. So Ada that's will take over. That's a big stop oh, yeah. if you're the Bulldogs, because right now 
you know, momentum was in the favor Absolutely. of the visitors, yeah. the Vikings. That'll bring up first and 10 from the five-yard line. Levi Green in the gun. He's got Kane Fisher back beside him. He's got a man in motion. He'll take the snap. He'll throw to the left side, and he's got his man out there, and a connection is made. The connection is made to Trevor Magoo, number four, as he takes it up the sidelines. And the Bulldogs are on the move. Appeared to be Nice on the stop. Nice kick out block here by number one, Gavin Oldfield, to spring that receiver to get that six yards. Yeah, this is where if you're the Bulldogs, you don't want to get too greedy, just stay fundamentally sound. You just got to flip the field, absolutely. Flip the field and get a couple first downs and Here comes go Green, from there. Rolling to the left, and Levi Green with a big pickup. Oh, He's free. Boy. He's at the 30, and he had one man to beat, and he gets tripped up. Ty Lommers knocks him down to the 35-yard. Look, if Ty Lommers isn't there, he's gone. He's gone. He's got, he's got him a touchdown. Boy, Gilly, these backs are quick for the mm, Bulldogs. Well, they do such a good job with their vision. <laughs> you know, they're patient. They just put a lot of pressure on defensive fronts with their ability to find the hole and get through. So here they go, first and 10, a Quest Federal Credit Union first down. Kane Fisher off to his left. He's got a single receiver to the left. He's going to keep it himself. Green goes up the middle, and he's going to pick up maybe about a yard as he is hit and brought down by Quinn Westhoven. For yeah, the Mr. Westhoven not only wanted him, he wanted the football I was going right to say, he, he wanted that ball back, I think didn't he, he literally picked Levi right up off the ground, didn't he, trying to get the football. Absolutely. Good job by Green securing that pigskin. We'll go second nine from the 38. Who wears number 18 tomorrow? For the oh, that's right. That's Will Howard. Will Howard. Maybe Will Howard will decide to run tomorrow. I was going to say, <laughs> still beating that drum, aren't you? I am going to beat that drum. <laughs> I had a good teacher tonight, Levi Jim Green. Pfeiffer. In the gun. <laughs> There's a completion out to the left, and oh, he's going to the Hickman. 50. Hickman's gone down the sidelines. Oh, there's his athletic nobody play. catching him, and that's a Bulldog touchdown. Yeah, that's a kid that keeps getting better and better. He is gone. He is absolutely electric. And the Bulldogs strike again. They lead 13 to 6. Second team all conference on both sides of the ball. Speaking of Mr. Hickman. So Ada will go for the point after, and that's an Ada Automotive touchdown. Ada Automotive, stop by and see us for all your automotive needs. They're called 419-634-2816. So there's the snap. The hold is good. The kick is up, and it is good. So it's 7.34 to go in the second quarter. The Ada Bulldogs extend their lead to 14-6 over the Lipson Vikings. We'll be back right after these messages. Tonight's game is brought to you by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipsick for all your commercial and residential needs. And by Buckeye East Coffee Shop in Ada, keeping you warm and caffeinated all winter long. Stop by and try our signature roast online ordering available for your convenience. I'm telling you, Gilly, I'm going to Buckeye East Coffee Shop. Well, I'm going to get, because I, I heard they got some good sweet treats in there, too. As long as you buy, <laughs> I'm there. We're going to get down to the Buckeye East Coffee Shop. Absolutely. Good people down there. So uh, Ada's going to kick off, Gilly, and Lipsick, uh, that's it's amazing. They had all the momentum in the world, driving to put the game, uh, go up a touchdown, and they fumble the ball. Oh, and the ball's on the ground, too. And oh, Lipsick, there's, there's a scrum down there, and Lipsick's going to get it at about the 33, but that was really too close for comfort for the Lipsick Vikings. So if you're Lipsick, Gil, you got to settle down here. you got to yeah, yeah. Yeah. put it in the end zone before halftime. Yes. You're 733 to go. You've got the offensive weapons. Let's uh, see if we can't put this in the end zone well, for the Vikings. it's like you. I mean, the momentum changed. That it turnover sure just absolutely flipped the tables and gave it to the Bulldogs, and they took it right down the field. 
Yeah. Gilly Ada comes into this game averaging 34 points a game, and they only give up 17 a game. And offensively, Lipsick averages 24 a game. So uh, both teams can put it in the end zone, and both teams can play strong defense. So here's Kirkendall in the gun. He's going to look to the right side. He's got a man out there. Reception is made. And a nice pitch and catch for about five yards. Looks like Lommers. Reception Fiera. made by Lommers out yeah, there. Fiera's on the stop. Boy, Kirkendall can spin it, can he, Gilly? Oh. <laughs> He does not look like a freshman. He does not look like a freshman. No, because he took a lick in here not too long ago, and he's bounced right back, and he's hanging in there. That'll bring up second and four from the 39. 7.03 to go here in the second quarter. Bulldogs lead 14-6. to six. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from War Memorial Park. Kirkendall's going to hand off the knees. So he goes up the right side, and he's going to be just about a yard short of a first down. I'm sorry, that was not knees. That was Aaron Hazelton. Boy, they just keep changing backs, and they, you know they keep them fresh, Gilly. And I think that's part of the reason I they're think so that's successful. Part of the game, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And it's a great night to be out there because it's cool and yeah, nice uh, crowd on on uh, hand tonight here. The home side full, the visitors side full. No, not much of a breeze out there, Gilly. Now the temperature is falling pretty quick, but uh, just a nice night for high school football. Erickson on the stop along with Mr. Fisher for the Bulldogs. So Kirkendall goes to the gun. He's going to hand off to Lommers. Oh, Lommers hit. My oh, goodness. my goodness. Are you kidding me? Is that Mr. Amos? That was a heck of a hit by Dalton Amos. Oh, my goodness. Dalton Amos said, hello, welcome to Ada. <laughs> Who was the ball, or the ball carrier? It, uh, okay. Lommers. Well, they're saying Lommers around us. We couldn't see it because it <laughs> happened so quick. <laughs> I mean, he was on his back. That's how quick Amos was in there. That's going to bring up fourth and three, and the Vikings are going to go for it from the 40-yard line. Let's see if they snap it or just try to draw him offside, and they are going to go for it. Kirkendall's got his man out there. Reception's made at the 50, at the 45. He's got one man to beat, and he's going to take it to the 40-yard line. And a nice pitch and catch there to Avery Paris. That's his first time we call his name tonight, but a beautiful strike from Kirkendall to Avery Paris for another Quest Federal Credit Union first yeah, down. Yeah, he got on the inside shoulder of Colton Dyser. Nice pitch and catch, broke Dyser's tackle, and got to the second and third level. And well, I'll tell you, nice, Gilly. Nice pitch and catch that, for a first down for the Vikings. That's a big play That for was them. a gutsy play by the Vikings going for it on their 40 and throwing the ball to boot. That'll bring up first and 10 from the 41 with 5.09 to go. Kirkendall's in the gun. He's got a receiver to the right, a receiver to the left. He's going to keep it himself. A little option play. There he goes. Lommers off the right side to the 30, to the 25, to the 20, and he'll be taken out of bounds at about the 18-yard line. And there you saw the option play from Ooh. Kirkendall to Ty Lommers. Looked like Tommy Frazier from Nebraska, they stole, early they 90s. They saw something <laughs> from up in the press box because there wasn't a purple jersey within 15 yards. No, you're absolutely right. I and think they, Vieira right there saved the touchdown for the Bulldogs. And they are in the Northwest Ohio Recycling Red Zone. Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora. Paying top dollar for aluminum, copper brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. Call 419-384-3392. So Kirkendall brings him to the line. First and 10 from the 18. He's going to take the snap. He's going to throw it across the middle. He's got it. Lommers out there, and Lommers makes the connection at about the nine-yard line. So Ty Lommers, boy, I'll tell you what, Gilly Lipsy just gets down the field really quick. They do. Dyser on the stop right there, but a really good job by Lommers finding the area and just sitting right down in there for that pitch and catch. So they'll go second and one from the nine-yard line. Yeah, if I'm, a, if I'm a Division three, small Division two school, Mr. Lommers has the size and athleticism. He sure does. To help. Yeah, Kirkendall's in the gun. He's going to hand the ball off, and he goes right through the hole, and a nice job there. I think that was Hazelton, I believe. That was Aaron Hazelton, and he puts him at first and goal, Gilly, and the Vikings are knocking on the door. Wow. First and goal, 3.39 to go. Lipsick in no hurry. Boy, you get a touchdown here, you don't want to give Ada a lot of time. We saw how quick they can strike on the offensive Real end. Real quick, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, both teams utilizing their athletes. Kirkendall's in the gun. 
He's got Nice off to the left side. They'll hand the ball to Nice. Nice goes through. And let's see. And there's no call made yet, and they're calling it a touchdown. Colin Nice takes it in for an Ada Automotive touchdown, and it's 14 to 12 with 3:14 to go in the second quarter. Well, he likes it in between the tackles. He sure he? does. Gets that shoulder square to the line of scrimmage and just barrels his way. So Colin Nice scampers in from four yards out, makes it 14 to 12, and the Vikings will try to tie this one up with a two-point conversion. And like you said, it all started with fourth and three. Yeah, they had the guts to go for it mm -hmm. on their 40-yard line, which I was really concerned about, but they pull it off and make it look easy. Kirkendall's in the gun. He's going to keep it himself, throws across the middle, and oh, and it's out of the outstretched arms of Colin Neese in the back of the end zone, and Ada retains the lead of 14-12. So with 3.14 to go in the second quarter, the Ada Bulldogs hold on to the lead, 14-12. We'll be back right after these messages. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So, Gilly, we got a shootout tonight, brother, and there's three minutes to go here. Uh, no saying Ada won't get down and score another one time as left. quick as they are. Two timeouts left. Ball goes right down the middle, and it is fielded at about the 20, and it's knocked off the oh leg boy. of the Ada ball carrier, and he's trying to make something happen. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line, and that's where the Bulldogs will set up and start first and 10 with 3.07 to go. Good job right there by kick coverage by the Vikings. Wouldn't let him bounce it outside, stayed in their lanes and turned him in to where all the defenders coming down the field were. Great job there by the Vikings. You can stream the WSN channel anytime, anywhere for only $8 per month. Download from Roku or Apple TV or sign up at app.wsn.tv. First and 10 from the 23, Gilly, 3.07 to go. Levi Green will go into the gun. He's got two receivers to the left. He's got two to the right. He's in an empty backfield. He'll have a man in motion. He's going to keep it himself as he goes off the left side, and not much going there. And that Lipsig Viking defensive front, and they stop him cold there. Yeah, Mr. Westhoven right there, he's trying to. Boy, it's either feast or famine for both these teams running the ball. Mr. They're either getting knocked well, down at the line or they're getting 25-yard runs. Yes. You're a little warmer tonight than you were last weekend. Well, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> You're hogging it. <laughs> Hog. Gilly brought the heater in tonight for us. So. <laughs> we're not up top tonight. It's supposed we're, to be for us. We're, we're, you must have a mouse in your pocket I, again because it's barely you. Are you cold, Gilly? I am okay. <laughs> That'll bring up second and 10 from the 23. Green's got Kane Fisher off to the left side. And Ada's going to take a timeout with 2.19 to go. With 2.19 to go, we'll step aside. You're watching High School Football on WOSA. Welcome back to Ada War Memorial Park, where with 2.19 to go in the second quarter, the Ada Bulldogs lead the Lipsy Vikings 14 to 12. We'll go second and 10 from the 23. Ada just took their timeout. Let's see what they do coming out of this timeout, Gilly. Green is in the gun. He's got Kane Fisher off to his left shoulder. Fisher goes in motion. Green's in an empty backfield. He's going to look across the field. He's going to run. He gets off to the left side, and he gets out to the 30, and he is taken down close to a first down, but he stays in bounds, and he keeps that clock running. Well, that large part was Lommers coming up there and submarine and getting him in the air. Oh, they're going to call it a first down, okay. Gilly. They're going to call it a first down, so he does move the chains. It looked like he was a little short, but the officials say, no, he made it. That'll bring up first and 10 from the 33, and there that clock runs. We're that's under big, two minutes. That's a big play. A big though. play, absolutely. That's gonna, if they can run out the string here, even if they don't score, they're going to keep the ball away from Lipsy. Yeah, absolutely. So Green's going to keep the ball. He's can't Fisher. Fisher goes off the left side, and he is hit immediately, and not much of a gain there. Yeah, what you don't want to do is give a team like Lipsick short field. And the clock continues to run, but uh, the officials are stopping play here. Not real sure what the stoppage in play is for. 
they they were mixing it up. The, 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 well, the Ellipsy kids were pointing as if there was a fumble. Well, Westhoven, he's he does a really good job getting in there and trying to strip the football. And I'm I'm wondering if he didn't get his hands in there with Fisher and try to poke it away. So they'll go second and ten from the 33 with 1.14 to go. Green's got Kane Fisher off to his left side. He's going to throw to the left. He's got a man out there at the 35 to the 40 and comes up close to a first down. Good Gilly. Job. I think that's old field. Our officials, our officials tonight, Gilly, William Tracy, Dennis All, Grant Elkelberry, Adam Shoemaker, and David Horn going with a five-man crew tonight, Gil. Morano on the stop. So he didn't hurry up offense. We're down to 40 seconds here in the second quarter. Green's going to go under center. He's going to keep it himself. And uh, looks like he Ooh, got the first down, maybe he short. It. Where the officials are coming in, it is a first down. And definitely second effort got him, didn't it? Sure did. And uh, Coach Toby Smith's going to take a timeout. We're going to keep it right here, Gil. Colin Neese on the stop along with Mr. Westhoven. Mr. Westhoven also first team BVC defense bend. Colin Neese, a third teamer at the linebacker position. The annual TV44 WSN funding campaign is underway now. Our goal is to raise $175,000 or more by the end of the year. Your donations stay local and are used to support WTLW and WSN. Donate today at axeministry.com. Got to get Let's them do donations it. coming in, brother. Hey, we can't do this without sponsors. That's thank right. You to them. Absolutely. Uh, we got a lot of people to thank for doing you this job. <laughs> this is we get to do this for a living, Gil, and it's uh, it's an absolute pleasure. Yeah, yep. and stay warm in the press box and eat Lee's chicken. If they had gravy here tonight, that would have been the oh, deal. Here you we go. and me, I'm telling you, man. Here we go. I told you I put that stuff over ice. I drink it. That is delicious. I've already had that issue called uh, stroke. I don't need it again. <laughs> First and 10 from the 44. Green's going to roll back. He's going to throw off to the left side. He's got Kane Fisher out there. Kane Fisher gets across the 50 to the 45. And Gilly, they had Kane Fisher exactly where they needed him in single coverage. And they, Lipsick does a great job of corralling him down. Well, they're, they're, they're sneaking in some coverages here. They're trying to confuse Ada a little bit here and playing a little zone. And Ada with the ball. And now it's, it's first and 10 from the 46. Oh, and near fumble there and boy Levi Green is taken down and a huge loss for the Bulldogs as he's taken down at about the 42 and they're just going to let the clock go after one half a play from Ada High School the Ada Bulldogs lead the Lipsick Vikings 14 to 12 we'll be back with second half action right after these messages Welcome back to Ada High School. We start the second half of play here. The Bulldogs lead the Lipsy Vikings 14 to 12. Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert from Ada War Memorial Park. And Gilly, got to see a little bit of everything in the first half. Both teams ran the ball effectively and threw the ball. And young Kirkendall and Mr. Green, two dynamic quarterbacks. <laughs> oh, they run the show for both they teams. They sure and do. Then you sprinkle in some really athletic running backs and wide receivers, it's going to come down to the big play, controlling the line of scrimmage and who can score first. And and you know, how big was the turnover? It was huge. It was huge, yeah. The two missed points, uh, the two extra points, and the and the turnover are the difference in the game right now. Yeah, you know, and the luxury Ada has is they have a kid that has, you know, I don't want to jinx the sure. young man, but he's yet to miss the PAT, and he's very capable of kicking field goals. and. That's a luxury to have, especially in Division 7. Tonight's game is brought to you by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipsick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs and the Buckeye East Coffee Shop in Ada, keeping you warm and caffeinated all winter long. Stop by and try our signature roast. Online ordering available for your convenience. So Lipsick will get the ball first here in the second half. As we said earlier, freshman quarterback Mark Kirkendall has done it all for the Lipsy Vikings as he has distributed the ball to all his top playmakers. 
and a squib kick down the middle, and oh, it goes off the helmet. helmet. Of, <laughs> it went off of number 57 for the Vikings, Miles Camarino, and it was collected by another Viking. Boy, they got lucky there, Gil. Yeah, number 33, Trevor Stuber. But what he did really well is he didn't try to pick it up. He just fell on he it. He fell yeah. on it and protected the football. Well, partner, let's see who made the adjustments. Yeah, this is going to be a dandy, Gilly. These teams played last Friday night. Ada comes away with a three-point victory, and they got a two-point or two-point hold lead right now. Lipstick comes out first and ten from the 33. Kirkendall's in the gun. He's going to throw to the right side. He's got his man out there, and a diving catch made, and it is made by number four for the Vikings. That is Clark Schrader. Nice play there by that young man. Boy, he had to get down low for that one, Gilly. Well, it was a better thrown ball, too. I know people's going to say, well, how can you say that? Well, he threw that to an area where that defender was not going to get a hand on it. You know, it's fascinating, Gilly, to watch Kirkendall throw the ball. He makes all the throws that big time quarter. That was a long throw across the field. Well, watch his feet. He does a really good job establishing, getting his feet set. And really spinning the ball really well. This is Colin Neese off the right side. And, boy, he has hit hard and hit immediately up the middle there. Landon Simon. Landon Simon. Boy, Landon Simon's played a nice game tonight, and he just shows you how quick he is to the hole there. And that's going to bring up a third and six from the 37 with 11.04 to go. Danny Homer, Darren Gilbert from Ada High School, a rematch of last Friday night's season finale between these two BBC opponents. Kirkendall, Kirkendall goes in the gun. He's got two receivers to the left, one to the right. He's going to throw to the right side, and it's oh, tipped, tipped at the line of scrimmage. Up. Number Zolads. eight, Blake, Blake Zolads. Zolads, does a nice job. And what does Lipsick do here, Gilly? Fourth and five from the 38. They're going to keep the offense on the field. Well, it, it, let me say something about Mr. Zolads. Mr. Zolads is just all over the place. Sure He's is. a hungry young man that has really improved his game especially on the defensive side of the ball. And he is, has such a nose for the ball and exceptional quickness. Very good linebacker. A huge play here for the Lipsy Vikings. Kirkendall's in the gun. He takes the snap. He's going to throw across the middle. And he's got a man out there. Oh, no, no, and no. we're going to get a pass interference on the play. And it's going to bring up a first down if it's against the Ada Bulldogs. And that's exactly what they're calling is pass interference. Against the, you saw the receiver from Lipsick cut in for a slant pattern, and the aided defender just kind of rode his back a little bit. Yeah, that was Dyser, you know, that that little quick hesitation with the step to the inside. He got to step on him, and official said he had him around the backside with his hand. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, located in Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Locally owned and operated, Lee's is not just famous for chicken. We're famous for catering, too. So that's two for two for them, right? Two for two, yeah. Down yeah, there's two conversions on fourth down. That brings up first and 10 from the 47 with 10.44 to go. Kirkendall's in the gun. He takes the snap. He's going to look to the right side. He's got a man down the side, and he's got him out there and overshoots his receiver, and he had him beat. He had a touchdown, Gilly, and he My just overshot goodness. him. The error was on the coverage there, but, yeah, if that ball is – Five yards shorter, that's a touchdown for the Vikings. So they saw something there that they really, really liked. That's going to bring up a second and 10 from the 47 with 10.39 to go. Lipsick down 14-12 to 12 to the home standing Bulldogs. And we've had an absolute slugfest here tonight from War Memorial Park. Hey, listen, when you go to the well once, it's going to loosen that defense up. Let's see what they do now, Vikings, how they attack it. Let's see if they don't look for a couple quick slants. Lommers is in motion. They'll hand to Colin Neese off the left side. There goes Neese at the 40 to the 35, and he's taken down Ooh. at the 32-yard line. Colin Neese with another Quest Federal Credit Union first down. Quest Federal Credit Union is today's first down sponsor. Five convenient locations to serve you, questfcu.com. The big fellas up front. Isaiah Bird, first team all-conference at the tackle position. Colin Foreman, second team BVC as third team Garcia at the guard spot. So those three guys on the inside nice of that job, A and B gap, yeah, they're opening some big holes up. First and 10 from the 33. Kirkendall looks to the right side. He's got a man out there, and the catch is made. Catch is made at the 20 to the 15. <laughs> what a grab by Quinn Westhoven, who basically fingertip caught it and takes it down the field. Sure did. Yeah, they drug him out. 
of the backfield and got him out there in the flats. That's going to put him in the Northwest Ohio Recycling Red Zone. Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora paying top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. Call 419-384-3392. So here we go. First and 10 from the 16. Kirkendall goes to the gun. He's got a receiver to the right, one to the left. He's got two backs in the backfield with him. He's going to hand off to Lommers up the middle, and Ty Lommers, not much work in there, Gilly, as that aided defensive line. Boy, it is tough sledding against that aided defensive line up the middle, isn't it? It really is. Let's take a look and see who popped in there for the stop. Looked like Zimmerman and Zolad's on the stop for the Bulldogs. Zimmerman, a second-team all-conference linebacker for the Bulldogs. They'll bring up second and nine from the 15. Kirkendall in the gun. He's got Ty Lommers directly behind him. He's going to throw to the right side. And his receiver cut in just a little bit. His intended target was Clark Schrader. And that falls short. And that's going to bring up a third, third and nine from the 15. Yeah, I'm not so sure that his tight end didn't have his hands in the air and maybe caused a little bit of confusion on that quarterback yeah, receiver. Yeah, I think you're right, Gilly. I think you are exactly right. 8.58 to go here in the third quarter. Big stop here for the Bulldogs. Colin Neese off to the left of Kirkendall. Kirkendall looks across. He throws to the corner, and there's going to be another pass interference, and that's going to set him up first and goal, and that's going to be a pass interference call against the Bulldogs. And they're absolutely Get a little handsy, aren't they? Well, th there was no reason for him to do that. The pass was over him. He wasn't going to catch it. So a, a mistake there by the Bulldog defensive back. Okay, remains third down. Okay, oh, he a half the distance. You're right. I was wrong on that. Be third and two. Still a big stop here sure for the Bulldogs. Is. Big possession for Lipsy. You know, if you're Lipsy, you got to try to find the end zone. They'll go third and two from the 15. 8.54 to go. Kirkendall's got Colin Neese and Lommers behind him. They're going to pitch back to Lommers. Lommers tries to get to the outside. He gets back, cuts back towards the end zone, and he is in the end zone for another Ada Automotive touchdown. Ty Lommers scampers in, and the Lipsig Vikings take an 18-14 lead here early in the third quarter. Yeah, he got up ahead of steam right there, didn't he? Yes, he did. Ty Lommers goes around the right side. Boy, you like to think the Vikings, you, when, you, when you think you got them figured out, they just <laughs> they, they throw they pass, something pass, else pass, 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 and then or they throw sweep something it. Else. Yeah. Absolutely. Use the tight end, drag him, get him in the flats. So they're going to go for two. They lead 18-14. I was wrong in my score. I said 18-13, 18-14. So Kirkendall in the gun. He's got Nice directly behind him. They're going to pitch it back to Lommers, and Lommers throws it back, and, and, a, and they're going to be a pass interference, another pass interference. And they're going to get another shot at this, Gilly. Yeah, that one I'm not so sure about. But yeah. Again, the officials are down there. And they're yeah. the ones Coach that Toby Smith is out on the field. Not happy about that call. Yeah, I think that was Old Field. Well, so. let's, let's see what they do. They've been successful up the middle. He's got Lommers and Colin Neese in the backfield with, with him. And you got Lommers on the sweep. They're going to throw it out, and the ball is knocked down in another okay. two-point conversion that falls away. So with 8.48 to go in the third quarter, the Lipsick Vikings take the first lead of the night as they lead the Bulldogs 18-14. to You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Welcome back to Ada War Memorial Park, where tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So the Lipsic Vikings really take their first lead of the night as they lead the Bulldogs 18-14 with 8.48 to go in the third quarter. Yeah, unfortunately, the Bulldogs didn't do themselves any favors on some pass interference calls, but uh, give Lipsic a lot of credit coming out after the half and taking the ball down the field and getting 
six points. And kick is fielded right at the 30-yard line and gets to the 40. And the ball's on the ground, and Lipsick recovers. A fumble, and Lipsick gets the turnover. The Bulldogs' first turnover of the night, and Lipsick is in business. Yeah, somebody got a hat on it. Ball went on the turf, and the Vikings recovered. So a huge turn of events for the Lipsick Vikings as we saw them fumble the ball early in the first half, and they return the favor as they lead 18-14. to 14. Yeah, each team now with one turnover. But as close as this game is, Gilly, and you want Every to talk turnover. about a critical time, Absolutely. this is a critical turnover here. Yeah, this is a momentum yeah. swing, especially since Lipsick, Lipsick, excuse me, just went down and scored. So the Bulldog defense going to have to stiffen up here. And Lipsick trying to step on the gas pedal. Kirkendall's in the gun. He's got Colin Neese off to the left. First and 10 from the 43. Kirkendall takes the ball. He looks across. He's going to throw down the left side. He's got a man out there. He's got Colin Neese, and he's going to take it into the end zone for another Ada Automotive touchdown just like that. The Lipsick Vikings score again two touchdowns in about 30 seconds. Yeah, Billy. they saw something on film right there. There's no question because, you know, Neese didn't hesitate. He just ran a – He just ran a post right down the post side. Post right yeah. down the sideline and – Got by, matched up with a linebacker and got behind the linebacker and found his way to the end zone. Our touchdowns tonight are brought to you by Ada Automotive. Stop by and see us for all your automotive needs. Call 419-634-2816. So they will go for two. They lead 24-14 to with 8.35 to go. Boy, Kirkendall's impressive, Gilly. He's really impressive. He is. So he's got Colin Neese in the backfield with him. He's got two receivers to the right. He takes the ball. He's going to throw to the right, and it's going to fall short. So with 8.35 to go in the third quarter, the Lipsy Vikings have taken a 10-point lead as they lead the Ada Bulldogs 24-14. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Welcome back to Ada War Memorial Park where the Lipsy Vikings have just scored two touchdowns in a span of about 30 seconds. They take the ball down the field, the initial drive of the second half. They get the touchdown. They kick off. They get a turnover, and they score on the first play of the second drive here in the third quarter. Yeah, and, and you know, the, the big thing for them, it's on the road. You know, you get that little cushion on a team like Ada now. Ada can come back and strike quickly. Let's see how they respond. And the ball's initially filled at the 30, and they'll bring it up to the 40. So the Bulldogs putting themselves in great field position to start their first drive of the second half. Caleb Hickman, boy, every, everybody they got touching the ball can take it to the house, Gilly. They got some talented players. Yes, they do, at the skill positions especially. Dewar on the stop for Lipsick. Fans getting a little involved here on the Bulldog yeah, you're right. side, trying to get the team. Green's in the gun. He's got Fisher off to his right side. He's got a man in motion. He's got a single receiver clear out to the left side. They'll go first and 10 from the 40. They'll hand to Kane Fisher as he goes off the 40, spinning and winning, and he gets knocked down for a gain of about two yards. Boy, I thought he had an opening there, Gilly, and he spun around, and the Lipsick defense had time to adjust and took him down for about a yard gain. Yeah, did a really good job going laterally, being the Vikings there, not letting him. Bounce it outside and covering up those holes there, not letting them squeeze through. Boy, Gilly, big number 99, Tyler Walther for the Vikings really takes up a lot in that middle, and he can just clog Space up that eater. offensive line. He is. So Green is in an empty backfield. He's going to roll to his right side, and he's going to keep it himself. He takes it across the... 35, or the, excuse me, the 45-yard line. Boy, and you know, Gilly, he almost got hit out of bounds and a great job from number Pulling seven, up. Tommy Offenbacher held up or he was going to get a 15-yard penalty because you saw the intent there. He was going to knock him down and he did, you know, you see it at that moment in his eyes like, I better hold up. Yeah, he better hold up because I'll tell you, the, the gentleman in the black hat and the stripes right there. He was there right there, was yeah. Right on top of it. So a big third down here for the Bulldogs, third and four from the 36. They're down 24-14. Green's in the gun. He's got a single receiver clear out to the left. He's going to throw back to Fisher behind the line, and he is going to be taken down for a loss, a loss there. Kane Fisher catches the ball in the backfield. 
Boy, the Lipsy Vikings defense really. Close to the ball Yes, they quick, sure they? did. That's going to bring up fourth and seven from the 36. Marquise Williams on the stop there for the Vikings. And Andrew Allen is going to come in and punt formation for the Bulldogs. And the Vikings will send two back to the 35-yard line to field the punt. Allen's going to keep it himself. They're going to fake punt. They're going to throw to the right side, and nothing doing there. And Lipsick gets the ball, a turnover on downs, a fake punt try by the Bulldogs, and it does not work. And my goodness, the momentum has swung. Yeah, and, and it's swung in uh, quick terms. Yeah, you know. know. Absolutely right. This is where you, if you're 80, you don't want it to snowball anymore. You've got to find a way to get a stop defensively, whether it be by a turnover or. Yeah, this this could get Excuse out of hand me. here. Gilly, Four uh, downs. It, it almost feels like Ada panicked there a little bit, down 10 early here in the third quarter. They were moving the ball well. So here comes the Vikings. Kirkendall's in the gun. He's got Nice off to his right side. Kirkendall throws to the right side. He's got his man out there. Connection is made at the 30-yard line, and they'll throw him out of bounds at about the 28-yard line. And the connection is made by Maddox Newell, his first catch of the game. Zolad on the stop, but not until first down for the Vikings. Gain a 13 on that pass. Connection. He's really getting good pass protection right he now, sure too, is, Parker. Yeah. Well, he gets the ball out so quick, Gilly. I mean, he's he's very decisive. He's very uh, knows exactly. He he can read defenses. He he's he's big time. <laughs> well, he doesn't he doesn't panic. That's no. the biggest thing that I'm seeing. Now he does he throw a share of interceptions. Absolutely, sure. yeah. but he's also a true yeah. freshman. Yeah, he's got. Uh, <laughs> but he has he's got moxie. twelve on the year. He sure does. This is good job there by. Zach Zimmerman a little in there on the stop. Yeah, a little misdirection there to a Aaron Hazelton. Well, it all blew up with Amos with his penetration right there. I think they got a hold. I think you're right, and that's going to back the Vikings up. And, Gilly, this kind of changes really what the Lipsy Vikings may be thinking in there with a 10-point lead. You, you know, you can keep the ball on the ground. You can run some clock here just as long as you're moving forward. Sure. And right now, eight has got them where they want them. They got them behind the chains. What are we looking at here? We're it's looking first at first and 20, 20 from the 40-yard line. So Ada really needs to take advantage of this. First and 20 on the 40-yard line with six minutes to go here in the third quarter. Yeah, if you're Ada, you've got to just keep the football in front of you. Lommers will go out to the right side, and they'll go Hazelton up the middle, and not Good much job. going there. So... It's going to be about a second and 18, so nothing doing there. The Ada defensive line, this is a big play, Gilly. You keep them third and long, you got a chance to get the ball back. Sure. Now, do. we've saw Lipsick from the 40 go for it, so there's no reason to believe they wouldn't go for it. <laughs> well, but you're also setting it a second and 22, Danny, versus sure. that sure. fourth and three. Absolutely. And you do have a 10 point lead. And you, you can back him up defense. Yeah, yeah. yeah try that's to a, pin him. It's a back really a good point, yeah. So here come the Vikings, second and 19 from the 39. Kirkendall's in the gun. He's going to look across the field. He's going to throw on the left side. He's got a man out there, connection made. Oh, and the ball's, ball's on, on the, the ground, ground. and it is yes. recovered by Ada. Caleb Hickman And appears. that is exactly what Ada needed. That was Jace Brecht on the connection, and he strips the ball, and Ada could not have got a better opportunity than they had now. Yeah, Johnny on the spot, number three, Caleb Hickman. You know, it all started out there. There was a lot of confusion in the secondary for Ada. I don't know whether it was lack of communication or somebody was in the wrong spot because it took them forever to get adjusted to, to play. And very fortunate right there, Mr. Breck put it on the floor or on the field, excuse me, and Ada was very fortunate to recover it. So Ada's defense holds. And here comes Green as he'll go around the left side, and he gets a hole. And here goes Levi Green to the 40. To the 44-yard line, Levi Green picks up another Quest Federal Credit Union first down. And really, that takes away, Gilly, that 
that turnover that Ada, Ada had, you know, in Lipsick could have put it in the end zone, but they turned the ball. Well, right. they the mojo was swinging towards Lipsick. Sure. And that turnover right there, you know what, gave gave the Bulldogs a little energy and. Mr. Green's not going to go away quietly. The co-offensive <laughs> no. player of the year in the BBC. He's a dandy. He's just so doggone quick with his feet. First and 10 from the 43, 4.52 to go. Bulldogs down 24-14. Green's going to throw off to the right side. He's got Fisher out there at the 45. Fisher's spinning, and he's going to go gonna down. about four. About a, yeah, about a three- to four-yard gain where the uh, officials oh, mark it. There's and a there's flag. a flag comes in late. We're going to see what happens here. Let's see what let's see what the call is. I did not see a penalty. Do we but have the, a hold? Do we have a face mask? A personal foul face mask oh, against Lipsy. We do have a face mask. So give him 15 here, right? Yes, 15 yard penalty. And that's going to be another Quest Federal Credit Union first down. Quest Federal Credit Union is today's first down sponsor. Five convenient locations to serve you. QuestFCU.com. So, Gilly, lots of scores from around the area. And, boy, there's some stunners out there tonight as we looked at uh, the WSN app and saw some really good games. And uh, Yeah, Richmond giving everything to Fort Laramie. Upper, upper side, side of Valley. Valley. Yeah, beating Delphi St. John's. Beating Delphi St. John's, yep. So here come the McCall Bulldogs. Beat Eden. Yeah, first and 10 from the 39 clock continues to run. Green's going to take the ball. He's going to keep it himself, and he's going to pick up a nice five-yard gain. And the ball's on the ground. The ball's on the ground, and Lipsick has recovered. And let's see what they rule, and it's Lipsick's ball. Another turnover by the Bulldogs, and the Lipsick Vikings are Johnny on the spot, and they've got the ball with 421 to go and a 10-point lead. Yeah, I was just watching the physicality. A couple of linemen mixing it up there, you know, away from the football, and it appears to be getting a little chippy. But uh, big play there by the Vikings. Switching the momentum back. Yeah, that one there, that one, that one hurts for the Bulldogs because – that was a golden opportunity to come down and get points. So both teams have turned it over here in the third quarter. Lipsick leads 24-14 with 4.21 to go. I believe that's eight a second turnover and one for, uh, no, two, two and two. Yeah, two apiece, yeah. Absolutely. And really kind of odd that, you know, there's no rain, no bad weather, no, you know, no slippery turf, nothing like that. And the Vikings content to run the ball right up the middle, a gain of about a yard and a half to two. Colin Neese takes it up the middle. Well, you can see what Lipsick wants to do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They want a gang tackle, and they want to have players tugging and trying to strip the football away. And I guarantee number two is probably involved in that play, Mr. Westhoven, or near where the football was plucked away. So we'll go second and seven from the 39 here in the third quarter. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Ada High School. Round one of the OHSA state playoffs. Kirkendall looks across the field as he takes a six, seven step drop and he rolls to the right under heavy pressure and he's just going to throw that one away. Really, really smart play by Kirkendall as he knew he had nobody and he just throws it away. Yeah, because he ran out of real estate. He sure did. Turf over there. <laughs> but Zach Zimmerman ran a long way from his linebacker spot. Mr. Amos tried. Yeah, he ran as far as he could, didn't he? He did. He ran. He ran lateral, but. It was the vertical effort of Mr. Zimmerman right there, making Mr. Kirkendall run out of real estate and throwing it out of bounds. That's going to bring up third and seven from the 39. Live to, live to see another play, Mr. Kirkendall. Now this is where you got to watch the Lommers in the seam here. Third and seven, 39, 331 to go. Kirkendall gets the ball. He looks across. He throws to the left side. And he's got his man out there, and the reception is made. And the reception's made by Clark Schrader. Nice route ran by Schrader as he runs up the side, immediately turns around, and it's going to be close to a first down. It's going to be about two yards short, Gilly. It's going to bring up fourth and about two from the 39. Like it'll be first down. Oh, oh, my goodness, and there is some controversy. Coach Toby Smith is on the field, and they are really upset about the spot of that ball. Well, it came from the far side, and I'm not quite sure 
why he's the one that spotted the ball. And boy, I mean, he's on the far side over there. And they are going to call that a Quest Federal Credit Union first down. I, I, boy, that's a that's an odd call. That'll bring it first and 10 from the 46 with 2.57 to go. Vikings lead 24-14. Kirkendall in the gun. He's got two receivers to the right. He's going to keep it himself. Throws to the right side, and he's got Lommers out there at the 50. Lommers takes it to the 45, cuts back in, and he's taken down at the 40 for another Quest Federal Credit Union first down. Ty Lommers with a really athletic move. Well, you, you give him any space. He's going. <laughs> well, I mean, he's going to catch the ball. He's going to gain yardage for you. And they're giving him a ton of room out there. A ton of room. So that clock continues to run. Precious time here in the third quarter as we're down almost to the two-minute mark. Lipsick taking their time as they lead 24-14. Give a lot of credit to that Lipsick offensive line, Gilly. They've done a fantastic job. They have. You know? they have. They sure have. Kirkendall's going to hand off to the first man up to the right side, and that's Colin Neese, and he gets about nine yards, and the Bulldogs showing a little bit of tired legs out there on the defensive front as that offensive line for Lipstick starting to flex their muscles a little bit. Amos and Zimmerman on the stop. Well, you know, in, in Ada's offensive line, I mean, they, for the most part, they protected Mr. Green. I think he's been on his back one time, correct? Yeah. And that was right, the yeah. end of the first half. Yeah, it was a, it was a key play. It was, sure about, a, was. about a seven, eight-yard loss. That was second one from the 33. Kirkendall brings him to the line, takes the snap. He's going to hand off to first man up, and nice gain of about six yards. That is Colin Neese. And, boy, Colin Neese has been the bell cow tonight for the Vikings. Yeah, old field, you know, got into the backfield just about a half a step too late. Tried to lasso him around the ankles, and Mr. Gonna, Neese got away from him. Like you said, he's been the difference in the game, and I know Lommers has had his moments, but Mr. Neese's ability to run in between the tackles, especially the guard and center, has made the difference in the game for the Vikings. It's going to be another Quest Federal Credit Union first down. We have a first and 10 from the 28. We're under one minute to go here in the third quarter. Lommers goes in motion. Kirkendall's going to keep it himself as he goes to the oh, right. Nice oh, he, he was hit hard, Gilly. He was hit hard on the right side of that line. He bounces back up. That could have been vicious. My goodness, oh, yeah. there's some popping out there. Yeah, that was Levi Green coming up, getting that shoulder One quarterback to another. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, listen, we're almost down to that eight-minute mark. Or, sure excuse are. me, the 12-minute mark. We got one quarter to go. This will be the last play of the third quarter here. Somebody's going to move on. Somebody's going to go home. Kirkendall goes to the gun. He's got two backs in the backfield off to the right and to the left. He's going to hand the ball off, and this is Lommers, and about a two-yard gain, and that'll do it for the third quarter. After three quarters of play from Ada High School, the Lipsick Vikings lead the Ada Bulldogs 24-14. We'll be back with fourth quarter action right after these messages. Welcome back to Ada High School as we start the fourth quarter. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert, and what has turned into a Lipsick 24-14 lead. Uh, boy, Lipsick coming out of halftime, Gilly, really put together some drives, and they were benefited by the turnovers, too. Well, that's what I was just going to say. They got something point-wise out of the turnovers. But when you capitalize on turnovers, that's huge. That's, yeah. Oh, yeah, when you can get points off turnovers, that is huge. Uh, now they put the ball on the, the, the field twice themselves. And there's a touchdown from Kirkendall to Jace Brecht with a beautiful catch in the corner of the end zone. And the Vikings extend that lead 30-14. Gilly, he couldn't have thrown a better ball. He put it right there where Brecht could catch it, the only man that had a chance to catch it. Just him, right? I mean, that's the only guy that can catch the ball. And that, that's yeah. the makings of a good quarterback. 
My. It's either that or it's an incomplete pass. You do yeah. not give that defender an opportunity to intercept it. Gilly, we are watching the makings of a star quarterback in Mark Kirkendall. This young man is everything you want in a quarterback, and he has the Lipsic Vikings with a 30-14 to lead with 11.54 to go. They're going to go for two here. They'll go trips to the left. They'll keep Colin Neese off to the left side. Kirkendall's going to throw to the corner, and it's overshoots his, she overshoots his receiver, and it's going to stay 30-14. So with 11.54 to go in the fourth quarter, the Leipzig Vikings lead the Ada Bulldogs 30-14. Welcome back here to Ada High School, where with 11.54 to go, the Bulldogs are down the Lipsic Vikings 30-14, to Gilly. And what a turn of events. We saw Ada leading at halftime 14-12. to They have been outscored here in the second half, and Lipsic takes the 30-14 to lead. Yeah, it's an 18 to nothing run, you know, right now by the Vikings, and a lot of that has to do with, with the, the turnovers, yeah. With the, you know, Unfortunate turnovers by Ada and the ability of Lipsic to attack those turnovers and turn them into points. 11.49 to go here in the fourth quarter. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from War Memorial Park. Round one of the OHSA football playoffs. And these two teams squared off last Friday here on this same field. Ada comes away with a 29-26 victory. And if things don't change, that whole uh, scenario is going to change here as the Vikings lead 30-14. Green throws to the right side, and it's tipped at the line of scrimmage. Okay, they're going to call it a forward pass. And Gilly, right now I get the feeling that Lipsic is <laughs> – and, and you're watching the same thing I am. Ada's going to have to be one-dimensional here to get back in this game with 11.54 to go, and, and that's really not their game. They like to keep it on the ground. Well, they're going to have to take their strikes down yeah. the middle of the field or you know, some type of vertical pass because Lipsic is just going to start pinning their ears back defensively, especially on the – the front, the front, and also in second level players. This is Green as he goes up the middle and he breaks away and he picks up about nine yards. So Levi Green takes it to midfield and it's going to be a, it's going to be a, let's see what they call it at, third and two from the 48 yard line. Yeah, I would say a short two if that makes you know any yeah. sense here. It's inside of two yards. Gilly, big thank you to Ken Jokums and the Ada administrative no staff over here tonight. Just took such people great the, care of us. People in the press box. People in the press box have been awesome. Got to see one of my former teachers and former coaches, Jim Piper, and just great people over here at Ada. They take care of us every time we walk in the door. We appreciate what they do for us. So here come the Bulldogs, third and one, and Fisher's going to bring it up the middle, and he's going to pick up an Ada Automotive first down, just what the Bulldogs needed. Sure. But they're going to need that hurry-up offense, Gilly. They've got the ability to pop them any time. They've got the athletes. They've got to just hurry up here with 10.59 to go in the Good fourth quarter. Good job by the men up front opening up that hole there, allowing Fisher to get ahead of steam and getting that first down. Yeah, there's a lot of time left. They're okay. But they've got to come away with points here. They have to get six. First and 10 from the 46, 10.40 to go here in the fourth quarter. Green's in the gun. He's got Kane Fisher off to the left. He's going to throw down the left side. And he's got a man. The strike is made, and connection is out there. He gets away, oh, and he's going to take it to the right side, to the and he is going to take it in for an Ada Automotive touchdown. And there you see I think we're going to get Caleb. a late hit also. Caleb Hickman. There you go, Gilly. You said it. They had to take their chances going downfield, well, and that's exactly what they did. And here's where Lipsy, you know, caught themselves. Instead of making the tackle, they're trying to strip the football away from the defender. And if you do not get that football stripped away and you don't make the tackle and you're in a one-on-one -on -one situation, especially a kid like Hickman. Yeah. Hickman that can absolutely turn on the Jets. That's exactly what happened right there. And I think we got a personal foul late It is hit. going to be a personal foul late hit against Lipsig. So that'll go half the distance for a two-point conversion oh try here. Boy, Gilly, they get a two-point conversion here. It's a one-score game. It's a one-score game. Yeah. Absolutely. So Ada goes for two here, down 30-20. to 20. 
And if they can punch it in the end zone for a two-point conversion, they are right back in this game with 10 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. So Green will go to the gun in an empty backfield. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. He's going to take the snap. He's going to roll to the right. He's under pressure. He throws back, and he's got it. And the two-point conversion is successful. So with 10.25 to go, Gilly, the Bulldogs. Oh, and there's another flag. Right back in this one. Yes, there is another flag on the field. Let's see what this one is. A little extracurricular activity it appears so, to be after the reception of the two-point conversion. Things, How big yeah. could this be if it's another one against Leipzig? Well, let's wait and see what the call is here, but things getting a little chippy out there on the field, and the Bulldogs right back in this one. A one-score game, Gilly, with 10.25 to go in the fourth quarter. Okay, so now we're sitting in a situation where we got a personal foul. Against Leipzig, personal foul against Leipzig. So offsetting penalties, so nothing's going to happen okay, here. Okay, well, but about the 15 yards on the initial one. Well, they, they marked that off uh, for the two-point conversion. No, remember on the touchdown. Oh, yeah, on the touchdown. That's going to go on the kickoff. Correct. I thought they moved it up half the distance for no, the two-point try. No, it was drive. still at the three-yard okay. line. Okay. We always have a controversy in this booth. Yeah, you know that, well, you know what? I love you. <laughs> I do. No, no. I, I wouldn't. I'm not talking bad about you, good. Oh, you mean a controversy during a game? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. No, you, you, or you. Or me and you argue all the time. We do. We do that in the car. Yeah, well, we, we, we do. We get our get it out of our system. Yep. That's we just, why we have to drive separately. We most of the time ride together. Gil. You won't stop and get me corn dogs. <laughs> most of the time we ride together. Or chicken wings. You wouldn't buy me dinner in Vegas. You're I, right. I offered you. We met up in Vegas. You wouldn't buy me dinner. You're right. And that, folks, is as the world turns, starring Danny Holbrook and Darren Gilbert. <laughs> there we go. Ten twenty-five. Next to go. episode. <laughs> Next week. November 8th. <laughs> Next Where week. In the we determined. don't know. Director Nick Fraley will put us in the uh, in the booth somewhere. Hey, what are we doing here if you're the Bulldogs? It looks like maybe setting up for an onside kick, and Lipsick's got the good hands oh team goodness. up front. Oh, Boy, with 10.25 to time. go, you just yeah, wonder. You, yeah, and now Lipsick's two back guys are backing up. Yeah, Allen's got a really good leg. Now, he's not kicked it. He's... Pounded it away. He, he did he, that he one. He gets though. that one away. Oh and my goodness. It is picked up at the 14. It's dropped at the one yard line. Oh, they'll try to get around. And boy, he makes something out of nothing. But my goodness, exactly what Ada needed, Gilly. They've got him pinned back inside the 10 yard wow. line. Wow. What a turn of events over the last four minutes, Gilly. The Bulldogs get a score. They get a two point conversion. We've got a one score game. And now they've got the Vikings backed up inside uh, the 10. Mr. Allen got a little bit of oomph on that one because <laughs> he did. that one was. That one was touched at about the five, went back to the one. Great job on the kickoff team by the Bulldogs. Now let's see what Lipsy does. You know, if you're if you're both teams, you just got to stay with your game plan. Well, Gilly, how conservative is Lipsy going to be here with 10 18 to go? I, that's exactly right. Especially on the road. So they'll go first and 10 from the eight yard line. Kirkendall's in the gun. He's got two to the left. Lommers will spread out to the left side. Kirkendall looks to throw. He's going to throw deep down the left side, and he's shooting for Ty Lommers, and it goes over his intended target, and good coverage by the Ada secondary. Wow. Yeah, Vieira's on the coverage there. Yeah, Lipsy's seeing something that they're trying to exploit. They're trying to get Lommers in a one-on-one -on -one situation. You know, him at, what, six foot two, six foot three. Yeah, he's really got a height athletic. advantage, absolutely, absolutely. You know, runs like a deer. You know, they're trying to get that matchup. Let's see what Ada does if they make any changes defensively here on their coverage. So they'll go second and 10 from the eight. 10, 13 to go here in the fourth quarter. Kirk yeah, and he's gets bringing Lommers out again. He's, he's going, going short route with him. Yeah, they'll go Ty Lommers, and he's got one-on-one. -on -one. He gets wide. He gets to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, and Ty Lommers had single coverage out there, Gilly. Boy, that's a gamble when you're going single coverage against an athlete like that. Yeah, because once that first level, and I mean that defensive back, can't make the tackle or he gets away from him, it's going to be a foot race, and that's exactly what happened. Gavin Oldham had to come from, what, middle of the field to make that tackle. 
Big thank you to our presenting sponsor tonight, Dale's Concrete. Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipsick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs in the Buckeye East Coffee Shop here in Ada. So we'll go first and 10 from the 31. Another Quest Federal Credit Union first down. Kirkendall hands off to Nice, and Nice goes up the middle, and Nice picks up a nice five-yard gain for the Vikings as they keep that clock moving with 9.55 to go in the fourth quarter. Well, where's he, where's he taking it? That A and B gap, you know, right behind his... You know, right right behind his big offensive lineman there, and their strong point is their center and their two guards, and that's where he's taking it. Second and four from the 37, 9.35 to go. Vikings lead this one 30-22. to 22. Kirkendall changes the play at the, at the line, and Ada jumps, and you saw that from up here, Gilly. I didn't see it. I was more or less watching Ada. It looked like they were disguising their defense. And Kirkendall saw something. He was tapping his helmet, which oh, is a, that's big there. Yeah. That's a that's an automatic first down right there. That's enough five, yard five yard yards. Down. Another Quest Federal Credit Union first down. They'll go that first. That makes and that 10. play a little easier, doesn't sure it? Sure does, sure does. And that clock continues to run, Gilly. We're down to the 920 mark here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, this is one eight has got to find some way to get a stop. Kirkendall's got Nice off to the left side. They'll hand it to Colin Nice as he goes up the middle and gains about two yards where he is met there. Now, Zolad's not going to get credit for the tackle, but you saw what he did. He turned him back to the inside to his teammates. Landon Simon, nice job there. Because if he bounces it outside, he's going to get probably another five to six yards. Great night for high school football, Gilly. Just absolute perfect weather. Can you imagine going against Amos if you're no, an offensive no, lineman? No, I wouldn't want to meet him in the Boy, hallway. he is just so <laughs> doggone explosive. He's, he's really good. That defensive and line he's is... he's playing right over the strong point. Second seven from the 45. Kirkendall's going to throw to the left, and he's got his man out there. And connection made there by number four, Clark Schrader. And I'll tell you what, if the tackle's not made out there in midfield, he's, he's gone. gone because he was in single coverage. So yeah. a great – look, the Ada defensive backs do a great job in I'm the open the space. They, they sure do. On the ball. They sure do. They are taught well here, you know <laughs> – about tackling yeah. also the fundamentals of the yeah. tackling. Sean really, Christopher, really Sean Christopher and that defensive staff has done a nice job with these kids. He really has. Well, Sean's always been a defensive minded yeah. guy. Yeah. You know, he was at Allen East prior to coming back to Ada. They'll go third and two from the fifty. And they'll go Colin Neese, and action, Neese huh? is going to pick up another Quest Federal Credit Union first down in a huge first down, Gilly, because it keeps the clock running with 7.37 to go. Yeah, it appears to be Trevor Magoo and Amos on the stop. And uh, now one of the Bulldogs, number four, Trevor Magoo, Magoo's coming, coming off. off the floor, or field, excuse me, and he is limping. Yeah, appears let's, to hope, be, yeah, let's hope he's okay. Appears to be the left ankle. Yeah, clock's running. Lipsick, you know, no hurry to run a play. No, they're going to take their time. They're moving the ball down the field. This is a big-time drive by the Vikings here in the fourth quarter. Kirkendall's going to go to Lommers. And oh, Lommers. Big hit. Oh, and a loss on the play, Gilly. Ty Lommers. Ty Lommers was hit immediately as he went through the hole, and the hole closed up as quick as he got there. My goodness. And Bodies all over the place. Yeah. Let's see who's down now. Is that Amos? That is... We'll have to see. We'll let them handle that injury on the field, and we'll take a timeout here in the booth. Back here at Ada High School, and Gilly, the injured player was. You got a number on him? Yeah, it's number 60, Dalton Amos. Who's been a big, big yeah. part of that Ada defensive front. Yeah, he's he's – Walking gingerly. I don't know if it's a lower body injury yeah. or if it could be something. Maybe to his do back. With. I don't know. Well, that, you know, he could have took a shot to the helmet, you know, but it's good to see him up walking. But you can tell he is in some pain oh, walking yeah. off the field. Yeah. So Yeah, or that, you know, either, it's, either the that pain, it's either the pain or, you know, he's having a difficult time with his. Equilibrium, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? See, yeah, exactly, because you, you're, you're Cause right. He's he, a tough yeah, kid. He yeah. wants to be out there. 
and he did look a little wobbly coming off the field here. And I think they want to play clock reset. I think you're right. So the clock will continue to move at 6.52. Lipsick leads 30 to 22 here in the fourth quarter. There goes second and 10 from the 45. Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert, week one of the Ohio high school football playoffs. We got a lot of games to cover, partner, in the next few weeks. Oh. Super excited. And then we go Absolutely. right into basketball season. Yep, we do. So Kirkendall goes to the gun. He's got one to the left, one to the right. Two backs in the backfield with him. And they'll go Lommers up the middle. And Ty Lommers picks up a gain of about three yards. But more importantly, they keep the clock running. Hickman on the stop. Let's see who else is getting up from the pile. Simon. Zach Zimmerman. Look Good who's to back see. in the game, Gilly. Yep. yep. It's really good to see that young man yeah. coming back in. Must have not been anything like a concussion or anything, a hit to the head or anything like that, because he scampers back into the game there, which is great to see. Six foot five, or excuse me, six foot, 265 pound senior, as we talked about. First team all conference on both sides of the football. They'll go third and six from the 44. Kirkendall looks to throw, throws across the left side, and it is oh, almost picked off. Intercepted. Oh, my goodness, that would have been huge for the Bulldogs. Well, and guess who he's seen coming? Yeah. He saw two number ones coming right at him. Zach Zimmerman was on a direct beeline to Kirkendall, and Zimmerman's pressure made Kirkendall get rid of that football. And Gilly, early. Lipsick looks like they're going to punt the ball away here and turn it over their defense to well, win this game. Are they going to punt it? <laughs> we'll see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. They're showing punt. But will they punt it? Well, it's fourth and six from the 44. Let's see what they do here. And they are going to punt okay. it away. Okay, they're so going to nice put it back punt. into the And the ball is going to go, and it's going to be taken down at about the seven-yard line. So Ada has 93 yards to go, Gilly, before they can tie this one up. They're down 30 to 22. Boy, we knew we were going to have a dandy. This is a Ooh. good one. <laughs> it's almost a carbon copy, and we weren't here last week, but it sounds yeah. like carbon copy to last week's game. Right, right, right. Grant David right there, the young man who we didn't, number 56, he switched numbers from 21. Thank you to uh, the staff here at Ada getting that information. That's who made the punt right there. you got to believe this is the Bulldogs, you know, one of one of two opportunities. Yeah, this is right your here. last they've stand. Got, yeah, they've got to get something here. So here we go. First and ten from the eight yard line. Five twenty eight to go. Lipsick leads this one, thirty to twenty two. And somebody's going to take a timeout. There's a timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Back here at Ada, where with 5.28 to go, the Ada Bulldogs down to the Lipsick Vikings, 30 to 22. They've got the ball at the eight yard line, and they've got to go 92 yards to tie this one up. Here's Green, and he's going to try to get around the right side, and he's carrying people, Gilly. A nice run there by Good Levi job Green. By that young man, yes. Picks up about seven to eight yards there. But the clock continues to run. They're at 5-10. Yeah, this is not the time to get an unsportsmanlike call, you know, by either team. That's 15 yards automatically. you got to keep cooler heads here and just play the game that you played for three and a half quarters. So Kane Fisher will go out wide to the right side. Kayla, excuse me, Green is in the backfield and is in the empty backfield. Hickman goes in motion. Green takes the snap. He's going to run off to the left side. Oh, He's got some get clock. to the 20, and he'll go out of bounds, and that'll stop the clock, and they'll have another Quest Federal Credit Union first down. Yeah, great block there by Zach Zimmerman. Appeared to be run out of bounds by Lommers here on the far side. Not only did Zimmerman get one defender, Danny, he got two. So no panic here in the Bulldogs with 4.35 to go, down eight. Now remember, Gilly, if they can get a touchdown here, they've got to score a two-point conversion. Go, 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 go. 
Green takes the snap. He's going to roll to the right side. He's going to throw back. He's got Fisher on to the left side. And he, is, he drops the ball. He drops the ball. And did it go out of bounds or did Lipsick recover? The official says it's Ada's ball. The ball got knocked out of bounds. Lipsick touched it last, but they did not recover it. Boy, a break there for the Bulldogs. Well, what's really impressive, you know, and it cost them a touchdown there in the third quarter, but they really get right up into you and try to strip the sure football. Do. Sure do. But if you're going to do it, you better have people there to make the tackle. Yeah, Ada, very fortunate right there. So here come the Bulldogs with 424 to go here in this one. Green's going to keep it himself, and a flag comes in from way behind the play, and that usually means a hold from that position. We'll see what the call is, and that is a hold against Ada, and that is a huge penalty, Gilly. Yeah, you got to believe maybe a little bit of fatigue starting to set in. You got yeah, guys on yeah. the interior line playing Just both ways. Just a little ways. bit tired. Well, yeah. and it's been a doggone physically played game. So a big time penalty there. The Bulldogs get a holding call. The second and 14 from the 19 yard line. Green is in the gun. He's got Fisher behind him. They'll flip it out to the back, and he just taken down for not much of a gain at all there. And Fisher tried to break through on the left mm. side, and not much happened Good job. there. Good job there by Lipsing. The clock continues to run, 342. Bulldogs down 30 to 22. So a huge third down here, Gilly. Third and 13 from the 20-yard line. Well, you got to get – it all starts with protection up front, too. you got to get it in your playmakers. If you're lip sync, you got to try to keep the football away from the hashes and the sidelines, keep it in the middle of the field. Green's in the gun. He's in an empty backfield. He's looking to throw the ball. Throws down the middle of the field, and he's got a man out there, and he overshoots him. And that's going to bring up a huge fourth and 13 from the 20-yard line with 3.10 to go. And, Gilly, what do you do here? Do you go for it? Do you put your, you put your defense back on the field? I don't think you have I, I was going to say, I don't choice. think, yeah. You know, with, with. I think if you give the ball to Lipsick here with their explosive offense, yes. you're really dealing with the devil, yes. you know. So take your chances on offense here. And the, and the flip side is if you don't convert here, pretty much game over. You, you want to believe that. Yeah. You know, you want to play protection football. Yeah. But we've seen both teams turn the ball over tonight twice, too, partner. Sure. Here we go. Fourth and 13 from the 20. Green is in the gun. Single set back. He's going to look to throw, and he's going to keep it himself. Now he throws across the middle and incomplete, and it's going to be a turnover on downs. And the Lipsick Vikings, with three minutes and five seconds, will take over on the 20-yard line with a chance to seal the deal and move on to round two of the Ohio High School football playoffs. Yeah, this, you know, if you're Ada right now, defensively, you've got to take a little bit of chance right here. Sure. Yeah, you got to put a lot of pressure on him right now. You've got, yeah, you got to pin your ears back, and you got to go for it. you got to get a stop and, you know, hopefully a turnover. If if you're Ada, if you're Lipsing, you just got to play protection football. I would be surprised if we see Lipsick throw the ball here. And the reason I say that is I believe they're going to try to force Ada to use those two timeouts. So Kirkendall goes in the gun. He's got Lommers directly behind him. Colin Neese off to his left side, and they're going to pitch back to Lommers. Lommers is going to be hit behind the line of scrimmage, and the clock continues to run, and Ada does not take the timeout. or do No, they do not take the timeout. Good job by Caleb Hickman coming up, Perman's defensive back position to make that stop. Bring up second and 11 from the 21. Are you surprised Ada's not taking the time out here, Gilly? No, I think they will on this possession I right here. I think you're right. I think you're absolutely right. I think if they can keep them in a 
especially in a third and long situation, Danny, I think you're going to see them take a timeout. You know, unfortunately, they had to burn that one. Yeah, yeah. You know. So Kirk and Douglas in the gun. Here in this second half. He's got Lommers off to the right. They'll hand off to Lommers, and Lommers taken down at right at the – and a flag comes in late from way behind the play. Big play there by Zimmerman. And let's just see what that flag is all about. Yeah, this would be big if if they could get a hold here. Let's, you know. See what the play is. Nobody really indicating what the play. Personal foul against Ada. A personal foul against the Bulldogs. And let's see what they're calling. So the officials are talking to Coach Toby Smith from Ada explaining what's going on. And they just said personal foul. Not real sure what it was. I did not see anything after the play. Gilly. Yeah, I didn't either. Now Ada's going to take, Ada's a, gonna timeout. take a timeout. With 2.16, we'll step aside. You're watching High School Football on WOSA. Welcome back to Ada High School with 2.16 to go here in the fourth quarter. The Lipsick Vikings lead the Ada Bulldogs 30-22. to They've got the ball at the 11-yard line. They'll go second and one, trying to seal the deal. Ada has one timeout left here that they can use. And now it looks like Lipsick's going to call a timeout, Gil. It's a big play okay. here. So with 2.16 to go, Lipsick takes the timeout. The annual TV 44 WSN funding campaign is underway now. Our goal is to raise $175,000 or more by the end of the year. Your donations stay local and are used to support WTLW and WOSN. Donate today at axeministry.com. Com. So, Gil, what a game we've had tonight. We've seen both teams lead. We saw Ada lead 14-12 to 12 at halftime. Uh, Lipsick comes out. They score a couple touchdowns. We saw two turnovers from each team. We saw great quarterback play from both squads. So just a good, fun, first-round playoff game here in the state of Ohio. It is, you know, and it's unfortunate. You know, you just played each other a week ago. Yeah, right. It's a, it was a conference foe that you have to play in the opening round. I know both coaches respect one another. Um, and, and the job that they did this year, it just it, it's a very entertaining game. Well, we haven't talked much about it, but, boy, this turf over here at Ada is really, really nice. Gilly and uh, the Bulldog in the middle of the field and both end zones with the purple and gold. It's uh, it's very, very nice. It is very nice, and, you know, a lot, of, a lot of high schools don't get the opportunity to play on field turf, and the Bulldogs are really, really fortunate. So here they go, second one from the 11. Kirkendall's in the gun. He's got Lommers in motion, and Kirkendall's going to keep it himself, and... It looks like he slides, and they're going to say it's a first down. So that's going to make it a first down with 2.12 to go, and the clock is continuing to run. Ada's got one timeout left, and so you got to believe they're going to use that timeout here after this play, Gil. Sure. And Lipsick in no hurry. First and goal from the nine-yard line. Kirk and Dahl is just going to take a knee, and they figured out the clock issues. <laughs> they figured out they can take a knee and walk sure. away from this one. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what they are going to do. The Lipsick Vikings have come into Ada, and they have got their revenge tonight as they are going to walk out of here with a 30-22 to win, and they will move on to round two of the Ohio High School State Playoffs. Yeah, second round team to be determined. Last I saw, I think Gibsonburg was up. I think Gibsonburg yeah, to they'll, seven. They'll play the winner of Gibsonburg Arlington. So. Yes. And uh, look, this <laughs> Lipsick is going to be a tough out, Gilly, with the offensive firepower they have, and that takes us under 50 seconds here. And. Ada's going to take this 
time out to the locker room with them, and uh, understandably so. There was no the, once they got the first down there, they knew well, that. Well, yeah. better you take it right here. Sure, you know, sure. You know, Danny. See what they do here. And Kirkendall is going to take the knee, and that's that'll do it. The Lipsick Vikings win this one 30 to 22. They move on to round two. Gilly, your final thoughts on this one? A great high school football game, Danny. It, it's a shame to see one team move on, one team go home. They both laid it on the line, but that's why you call it playoffs. And unfortunately, the Bulldogs are going home. But what a great year. You know, they go eight and two. Uh, Finish third in the BBC, their first opportunity in the Blanchard Valley Conference. Uh, finish eight and three overall. You know, you look and see where they came from between this year and last year, leaps and bounds. They played a lot of young kids. Uh, congratulations to eight of seniors. I know they're wrapping their career up on the football field. And that leadership is what led eight to that eight and three record. For the Lipsey Vikings, you know what, coming back on the bus, after going home after a discouraging loss last week and coming back over to Ada on the road. You know, they made enough plays to get things done on both sides of the ball. Uh, you know, they move on to the second round of the playoffs. Good luck to them, whether it be, you know, league foe Arlington, but it appears right now it's gonna be Gibsonburg. And I'm not so sure how that works. Well, obviously, Gibsonburg would have the home field advantage, so Lipsick's probably going to have to get in the car and drive to And, Gilly, we, we knew it was going to be tough for Ada to get back-to-back. -back. It's tough to beat anybody twice, especially in let two weeks. A, right, back-to-back. Back. Right, back-to-back. Back. So, uh, you know, we, we saw that coming, and, uh, we you know, we knew that it was going to be a tough foe, but Lipsick, what a great job. And, boy, we saw a star in the making in, in Mark we Kirkendall. Did. Yeah. We did. We seen a star end his career tonight. Absolutely. You know? <laughs> a lot of seniors. Young Mr. It on, Green was something it else. on the line for the Bulldogs. It's not going to get an opportunity to wear the blue and gold or purple and gold again, excuse me. I said blue and gold. I don't know what <laughs> makes me think of that. I don't know. But uh, Lipsick, you know, they're, they're moving on, and they earned this one tonight. And Good luck to the Vikings as they – Move on to round two of the OHSA Division 7 playoffs. And that'll do it from Ada High School. For Darren Gilbert, I'm Danny Holbrook, and our entire WSN crew saying, you've been watching high school football on WOSN.